Wonderful. Well, we are here with the legendary Jack Pearson uh, from the Alban Brothers Band and so many other great things. Jack, thanks for being part of all Glad this. Glad to be here. Uh, it is just a joy to have you here and be a part of all this stuff. Let's talk about blues playing a little bit. Um, uh, when you're playing the blues, you've played blues for, for so long. How did you get started doing this? Uh, my brother played a lot of blues and he had a good record collection and uh, learned a lot from, you know, what he was doing. And he liked Lightning Hopkins and Chuck Berry and Carl Perkins and that kind of stuff. Did you start out on guitar or did you yeah, play other instruments? Mm -hmm. good. I dabble with other instruments, but guitar is the main thing. Good, good. Now, uh, you mentioned uh, Lightning Hopkins. What are some of the other influences that you've... Oh, I like him. I anybody that plays good, you know. <laughs> I mean, there's so many different styles with the blues. You know, you have the Mississippi and the Piedmont and then the Chicago and, and then you got all the famous guys that developed it you know when you were when you were learning did you just primarily learn by listening to the other players did you have formal training formal lessons or um... no I mean every once in a while you'd pick up something from somebody but um, there wasn't the instruction things back then yeah. so you learned it from records uh, if you heard a lick you just keep moving the needle back and forth <laughs> until you figured it out and uh, uh, you know, it, it was good ear training too, though. Cause, yeah. yeah. Did you come from a musical family? Were there were there musicians yeah, around the house? Yeah, my dad played, and my mom sings, and all my sisters sang good, and mm -hmm. my brother played, and um, I was the one that was crazy enough to try to do it for a living, <laughs> though. <laughs> but that uh, it seemed like all everybody was musical. You know. When did you When did you know that you wanted to be one of be a musician. I don't know. Mama said player. she'd have to buy me those little toy guitars when I was a kid, you know. <laughs> I was always beating on a tennis racket or something, you know, acting mm -hmm. like I was playing. And uh, Stanley, my brother, he tried to show me some stuff when I was pretty young, but I couldn't reach around his acoustic guitar. So a couple of years later, when I was able to reach around it better, then I started picking up some stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I was around 12 then. Mm -hmm. Now, were you playing... Uh Acoustic at that time? Or yeah, electric, it was or? an acoustic with strings about this high off the <laughs> neck and uh, you know your fingers would bleed and uh, and we finally figured out if you capoed it at the third fret it would make it a little easier <laughs> but I don't know it was a finger bleeder. Good. Um, now what are, you, what are you playing on today? This is a Gibson um, it's like a it's a 336 but it's been modified uh, I talked to them into leaving the binding off the back. Mm -hmm. We added a master volume and they uh, reshaped the neck a little bit so it fit my little hand a little better. Now, what uh, what what did they do to the neck that that helps fit your hand a little bit better? It's the shape of the back of the neck. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted kind of a different kind of shape where it fits in that curve a little better. Mm -hmm. The big big round necks they're just not as comfortable to me. But I don't like the real flat ones either. Now let's talk. Let's talk about your your fretting hand down here. What when you're doing your hand position as you're as you're playing? What are you, 
kind of where does your hand normally land on the on the instrument? Because you play a little bit different. You're using your thumb over the top to get some of those bass notes. Yeah, which is uh, something I could never quite figure well, out. I never quite had to. I can't bend my wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, in, really any more than that so I learned how to play more flat fingered and and get some of the bass notes with my thumb because mm -hmm. to get down there it uh, just kind of binds up on me so if I play like a 13 9 chord I'll grab the bass note with my thumb mm -hmm. and the 2 minor I've seen, you know, some clips of Tal Farlow where he'll be playing a chord and he'll reach up here with his thumb, you know, but he, he was such a big guy, I guess he could do that. But.